How you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato, and you guys are watching my channel, so you rock. Thanks a lot for that. Now, this is just a short video on a couple of wasps I found, and uh, if you know me, you know I love wasps. Check it out. I don't know what she's doing, but she's pretty. I love wasps. I love anybody in the Vespa family. Come on. Hey, pretty. Focus camera. Hmm. Now this here is a type of mason wasp. They're kind of on a slightly smaller side, but they're really pretty. And they parasitize on caterpillars. Really neat looking. Maybe I ought to make a video on these too in the future. I don't know why, but the social insects, even the solitary ones, the wasp and bee family, I just find very cute and intriguing. The caterpillar? Yeah. Probably. I've never seen one. What was that? Is that the frisbee? Yeah. The only thing I can throw at you. never what? I've never seen a caterpillar. No, neither have I. Look, there's another one. Oh, yeah. Now, this is actually a paper wasp. Paper wasps are really neat because, well, they chew up fibers of plants and wood and mix it with their saliva to make paper. And that's what they make their hives out of. And as you see, they're not very aggressive. Now, something really cool about paper wasps is they secrete a chemical, I think, in their saliva around the base of their nest that repels ants, which protects their eggs and their brood. Another name for paper wasps, or the family of paper wasps, are umbrella wasps, and that's because their home looks like that of an umbrella. Kind of hangs down and umbrellas out. Uh, but I'm going to save that for another video. It's a little cold for you, isn't it, hon? I'll warm you up. Here you go. My hands are nice and warm. You've been through some wear and tear. Now, these aren't really aggressive vespids. In fact, most of them aren't, unless provoked. I've only ever been stung by one of these in my life, and that's because it was in my shirt and I thought it was a leaf. However, the males don't sting, okay? Just the female vespids sting. The males bite, if that. However, the pain didn't even last a minute. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I don't recommend touching wildlife. It's, it's not the wisest thing to do, and it's actually not good for them. But, um, you know, I'm really used to the body language of insects and animals and snakes and things. So, you know, it is an educated guess when I'm touching these things, and I love them. So, don't go doing that. But... You know, I got a soft spot for wasps and bees. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Um, hey guys. Now, really quick, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to click that little bell icon or else YouTube will never inform you that I have a new video out. It's a YouTube thing. And trust me, I need all the help I can get, so please click that bell icon for future notifications, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.